Hi everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and I want to show you a mini album I made using the Cupid & Company paper line from Echo Park Paper. This was part of a design team haul from Country Craft Creations. You'll have to check out the link in the description box. They have some fabulous papers, and that is what I made this out of. And look at the design team haul so you see exactly which papers I used. Everything I used came from the collection plus the cardstock. I used up almost all of the paper. If you needed to supplement it, I would just get a couple of extra sheets of the plain paper or even some red artisan cardstock. So let me take you inside and show you. Well, let me show you the cover a little bit and talk about it. These are stickers that I backed with cardstock, tied a string on, popped up with pop dots, and put on top. This was a cut apart. I cut it down a little bit and have two mats on there. This was part of the sticker sheet and so was this and the flowers I cut out of um, one of the papers. So, and I did get this beautiful ribbon from Country Craft Creations along with the ribbon that I put on the spine. I put the ribbon on with an eyelet. If you didn't want to go to that extent, you could just put it underneath the cardstock. But I wanted just a nice finished look. So inside on the front page is a waterfall and it's held with a magnet. And there are five pages for photos. So you can get a lot of photos there. And you could go like this if you wanted to. Um, but I chose to go like that and close that. And of course you can put a photo on these two pages if you have lots of pictures. This is a cut apart and I have it closed with a magnet and we open this up and this is one of the elements from the ephemera pack and it just is open on two sides so you can put something there and so is this. So if you had a large photo, a 5 by 7 photo, then that would fit underneath there. And incidentally this book is eight and a half by six and a half. The pages are eight and a quarter by six and a quarter. There's two different page styles, three of one, two of the other, so there's five pages together. And the one that has three has a pocket, so there is room for a hidden photo mat inside the pocket. And I did use a uh, punch that I had to add these little tabs. So on the second page, the back of the first, there is this again that is from the ephemera pack. I just put on two sides and put a couple of tags in and I used the seam binding in black that came in my design team package. Oops. And I just used this cut apart because it was adorable. All right, so this will take us to the first real fun page. So this is from the cut apart sheet. And that is just some of the cardstock. And it is this uh, saying is from the ephemera. And it is open, so you could put a picture underneath it. And that actually holds this page closed. And you open this up. And I'm going to tilt this this way and this pops up. So these flowers are popped up. You can see the dimension there. So I show you how to do that in the tutorial. So we'll put these all there and that'll keep that closed. Now this page, this is a large belly band. This is held down with a magnet. So these flaps open. There's a couple of cut aparts in here. You could put a cute little picture there. And then this comes out. I don't have anything on the back. That's where I would use the extra paper if I had it. So those go like that. So there's just this little tuck spot on this page. And I've got a photo mat here. And again, that's open. And that'll go back in there. That'll go there. 
and that just tucks into there. So now this page has a belly band, and those are stickers from the sticker sheet. Oh, actually, that's from the ephemera. Those are stickers from the sticker sheet. And I just have a couple of photo mats tucked into here. And then this, of course, is another journaling card that we can open that way. I love this flower paper, and I absolutely love this flower paper. And I just made a tag with uh, some of the scraps, and these two were from the ephemera. And then this has another pocket, and I did three different pocket styles. Um, this one is using the punch board, the other one's doing circle, and then the other one is just plain, just for a little difference. And then that, you can still tuck a photo in there. And that'll fit into there. And just a couple little, um, just a tag, again, using the leftover paper. That's from the cut apart sheet. And here's another photo mat. I love this cart paper. Isn't that adorable? And then this one opens, and I'll go like that again. And there we go. It's got the flower carts and flower shops in the back of it. So that is, again, a dimensional pop-up, which is really adorable. So I'm going to stick that back in there and take you to this page. So this is one of the cataparts. It's held in with a magnet. And it'll open like that. And these were from the sticker sheets that I put on some elastic. So there's a little interactiveness with that. But you can still put a pretty picture there. And as well, this will open up some more, giving you more room for photos. And same on this side. So that closes, and that closes. And this is also held with a magnet. So that'll open like that, room to journal on the back there, and just some room for photos. Oh, and then another photo mat, and I forgot to show you that photo mat. Uh, this has two pockets, so there is a tag that came from the ephemera pack, that came from the ephemera pack as well. And there's room on the back for photos. And I love that little paper. Now this I tied with some of the seam binding. Um, I put eyelets in the top page and the bottom page just to, again, make a nice finished look. And that'll open to that. And this is a great place to put all the rest of the photos that you had no room to put in the book. Although there is a lot of room in this book for pictures. I could see it being used for wedding, Valentine's Day, uh, father-daughter dance, anything like that. So there's a couple of elements that came from the ephemera. I just thought they were really cute and wanted to tuck them in somewhere. And then the back page has this beautiful paper. Here is this, the spine, and I tied some ribbon and just let it dangle there on the cover. I put it in with um, an eyelet and then just simply tied it with some baker's twine, which is the same baker's twine I use for that. So there we go. There is my first design team project for Country Craft Creations. Uh, again, check out my design team haul video, and then you can see exactly what the papers were that I used. So you make sure you get the same amount of papers, and um, the tutorial will be coming up next. If it's not available right as you see, this video, just give it a couple of days, just so I can finish editing the video. Oh, and also, I did have some leftover scraps and some ephemera, 
And so I decided to make a couple of Valentine's Day cards with the scraps. I just backed them uh, with some plain cardstock if possible. And just made a couple of fun cards. So that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when the tutorial is done for this. Like I said, it'll just be a couple of days. Thanks so much. Have a great day.